Mohamed Salah is on absolute fire right now for Liverpool and he actually has been for many years so I thought in this video we'd go over some of the habits that have helped build Salah into the player that he is today has allowed him to be so successful and you can take some of these habits and start introducing them into your game so that you can see improvements as well. Let's get into it. Hi there, my name is Dave and this is Simply Soccer. If you are new to the channel where we are releasing videos every single week to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you get my free ebook, Game Changer, which is a 50 plus page ebook that's going to help take your game to the next level. You can get that for free down below. Now, without further ado, let's get into the very first habit that Mo Salah has that allows him to be so sensational, starting in reverse order with number five. So like I typically do in these videos, I want to start with some of the more obvious stuff but that needs to be said and then move into some of the more nuanced stuff. So number five is lifestyle. Mo Salah definitely leads a very professional lifestyle where he takes care of his body, he eats right, and he puts in the extra work. You don't become as good as Salah by just going through the motions, I'll tell you that now. And I bet you even on the level of most professionals, he is doing more. He is being even more strict with what he does. He is taking care of himself, his body, rest and recovery, doing extra workouts, you know, making sure he is doing everything he can to make it so that he can perform come game time. He is someone who is going to be very disciplined in that way. And when you live this kind of lifestyle, you will get results. And I know that Mo Salah is doing this as well. You can look at other top players, you know, like Ronaldo and Messi who have been at the top of the game for so long. They do this as well. And it leads to these kinds of results. It will just make you a much better player because he's dedicated his life to being the best player he can be. In fact, in the comments down below, put I am living the lifestyle of a footballer if that resonates with you. And now we'll move on to number four. Now, number four is constantly aiming to improve. Now that might sound obvious, but not every player is doing this. I believe Salah is meticulously looking at his game, listening to the advices of his coaches to become better and better. And in fact, one of the coaches at Liverpool said that Salah has been working very closely on certain elements of his game to become better and better and better. And that is just like Salah and top level players that are always trying to be the best, is they're always looking for a way to improve, even if they're already a world-class player. You'll notice this about a a lot of world-class athletes, even though they're at the point where people are like, you're so good. I mean, you don't really need to improve anymore. You're already so good. They're still looking for any small way in which they can to be more efficient, to be more effective, to score more goals in Salah's case, to have more contributions in the attack, to help his team win more awards. Um, he is always looking for ways to improve so that he can give better performances. And this is something you can apply right away in your own game by just analyzing your game and going, what can I work on? that'll help me play better? What can I do in order to perform better come match day? What is it, what situations do I find myself in that I can get better and better at that are gonna help me perform at a higher level? So if you're enjoying this video so far or you're just a fan of Salah like myself, please hit that like button and we'll move on to number three. Now, number three is something I've picked up from Salah and not every player does this. And it's, it's not unique to Salah, but it's something I notice about some top players. Suarez used to do this as well. And Salah is actually very, very scrappy. Now, not scrappy in the sense of he's getting in fights, but he will get his body on someone. He will protect the ball. If the ball's poked away from him, he doesn't give up on it. He has a very tenacious attitude. He doesn't give up on things. Ultimately, like he'll be dribbling in tight space and people will try and shove him. People will poke the ball away from him sometimes and he keeps going. A lot of players, once they get a little shove, once they you know, get the ball poked away, they kind of throw up their arms or they complain, they go for the foul, whatever else it is. And if you watch Salah, especially in close space, you'll see this is happening all the time, but he has that persistence. He has that just, just durability to stay in there, that mindset to never give up on a play. And he really won't give up on it until it's basically like there's nothing else he can do. And this is something I really admire about, um, about Salah. And I was about to say, something Suarez would do all the time. Like he would chop and he would cut and he would turn and sometimes defenders would get a little poke on the ball Sometimes they would get their body between him and the ball But he would keep fighting and keep going and again if you watch a dribbling compilation of Salah You'll see there are many times that someone will get a foot on the ball poke the ball away try and push him off it and he just 
he just doesn't give up. And he's so hard to get off the ball in that way. He's such a nuisance is what I'm trying to say. Again, not trying to fight people, but just never giving up on a play or the ball. And I guarantee you, and actually I, I promise you, I've seen it happen. He has scored goals because of this. He, he makes defenders fear him because of this, because it's not enough just to poke it away from him. It's not enough to just try and get your body on him. He's such a nuisance when he is close to you and dribbling at you. Um, even if you get a tackle on him, he somehow almost always comes out with the ball. And this is something that Mo has absolutely developed, this tenacity, this just ability to keep going, to never give up on it. And it's as much a mindset as it is the physical skills he's developed to be able to do this. Now, number two is unwavering confidence. And we have to say this about all top players, but Mo Salah is good. He's an amazing world-class player and he knows it. Now, he is a very humble person as well, but in a recent interview, if they asked, like, do you believe yourself to be the best in the world? He said, you kind of have to believe that you are the best to continually strive and continually get better and better and better. And so, yes, he doesn't have the attitude of maybe a Ronaldo or Ibrahimovic who would come out and just like say these things all the time. But deep down, Mo does see himself as the best because he's putting in the work to be the best because he's putting in those performances and because he wants to continually strive to do better and better and better again players who genuinely genuinely see themselves as the best and aren't being delusional to a fault um, typically are always trying to get better and Mo uses that motivation that inspiration of wanting to be the best of seeing himself as the best to continually improve and put in amazing performances and he is and has been doing for many years and it looks like this year he's even gone up another level somehow and so believing that he's the best but this comes from unwavering confidence the confidence will come from the lifestyle he lives the confidence comes from him working on his game and always improving but he also I guarantee works on the mental side of the game Mo really strikes me as someone who doesn't like to leave any stone unturned so I wouldn't be surprised if he has intentionally worked on his confidence um, because again you know he had times when uh, he was at Chelsea and other places where he wasn't performing so well and it's a good sign of a player who's Develop confidence that's gone from that to where he is now where he's in my eyes right now the best player in the world based on performance at the very least and number one is it's clear that Salah has strengthened his strengths now you obviously want to work on your weaknesses and many players will and you should especially if those weaknesses are influencing your game and causing you to make many many mistakes but you can see that Salah has improved his finishing his goal scoring um, ability his instincts in front of net you can see that he's always working on his ability to be players one-on-one -on -one and be creative in the final third you can see he's improving and in cutting inside and scoring goals um, from really sometimes tough positions being able to beat players in close space and score these are things he was already really good at but he's strengthening his strengths to such a point he's almost becoming unplayable you look at players like a good example is Robin everyone knew that Robin wanted to cut inside or beat you to the byline but he was so good at it he strengthened this area and he even said you know if he could give advice to his younger self he would tell his younger self to work on this even sooner and even more because it became such a weapon um, that made him a world-class player of course there were other players and Salah will have looked at his game will have looked at the things he can strengthen to be even more more efficient to be even more deadly and go right for that and strengthen them and this is something you can do you know if you're already an amazing finisher getting even better at that's gonna make you a better player if you're already good at taking players one-on-one -on -one and cutting in getting masterful at that is only gonna make you a better player again you do want to work on your weaknesses so you're not um, you know losing the ball or you're not making all these different kinds of mistakes but you really want to strengthen your strengths as well you want to really learn to become masterful at those strengths so they become X factors and just incredibly deadly weapons when you find yourself in games. Now, a little bonus habit I wanna give you, and this doesn't necessarily have to do with football, although I definitely believe this helps, is Salah has strength in character. He is known to be a very kind, kind of warm person, and I think this always does help in any area of life whether you're a footballer or anyone else i do believe like attracts like and that salo uh, salo deserves everything that is coming towards him he is a famously very warm loving kind generous um uh, grateful humble person and it's really nice to see amazing things happening for someone like that but i believe just from not just the football habits just from life habits that can help improve your life and the life of others there are many things that we can learn from salo now one of the other things that 
that Salah is so good at, one of his strengths is dribbling. And if you want to learn how to dribble like an elite footballer or go from average to elite, watch this video next as I analyze how dribblers like Salah, like Hazard, Messi, some of the best in the world dribble and how you can start dribbling more like them. So watch that next. Thank you for tuning into this one and I'll see you over there.